Don't miss Clownfish Studios' latest crowdfunder, Crimson Wren Volume 1 on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Thaddeus Wendell's greatest treasure is out there, and it's up to young mage Crimson Wren and the crew of a rundown airship called the True North to find it. But will they find it in time? Crimson Wren of the True North is a race against the clock filled with action, adventure, comedy, and heart. This is a brand new manga-style graphic novel from Clownfish Studios. Go to crimsonwren.com or check it out on Indiegogo and Kickstarter. It ends on November 18th. That's November 18th. And now on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And if you haven't gotten the news flash yet, JK Rowling is not canceled. Mm -hmm. Not canceled. In fact, Warner Brothers is doubling down on Harry Potter content, which means that even if she's not directly involved, thanks to her ironclad contract, she still gets paid. Yep. So let's talk about this and we're going to talk about kind of the utter state of Warner Brothers. Uh, I did a video yesterday talking about uh, Zaslav making comments that, uh, you know, all the content they purged from HBO Max and from other Warner platforms, uh, none of it brought anything to the table. But apparently they are doubling down on their major franchises and one of them includes Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Shocker. So, shocker. Yeah. Not Fantastic Beasts, but Harry Potter. Uh -huh. So we are going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 280, almost 281,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Uh, we do talk about pop culture. We talk about the streaming wars. We've talked about the J.K. Rowling situation. Uh, Twitter's attempt to cancel her. Uh, has failed. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it just it has. Uh, now we'll talk a little bit about you know Daniel Radcliffe and some of the other Harry Potter actors that have thrown her under the bus, but um, she's not going anywhere. And it sounds like Warner Brothers is going to throw big bucks at more Harry Potter content. Sounds like they're going to double down on franchise-based um, films and shows, which is you know okay. That's bad news for the fact that we would like some original things, but it's you know. It is what it is. They have to make money. Yeah. And and here's the thing. I mean, Warner Brothers is not in a good place right now. Uh, Zaslav said during the investor call that, you know, all the content they purged off of their platforms didn't take one show. They didn't take one show off a platform that would help us in any way. They're going to replace the shows with content that has a chance to be more successful with a larger audience. So they don't want niche stuff. They want to actually have mass appeal. And Harry Potter has mass appeal. I mean, regardless of what you think about J.K. Rowling, regardless of what you think about her uh, comments she made, it is one of the most popular book series of all time, one of the most popular movie franchises of all time. Now it's one of the most popular theme park attractions of all time. Mm -hmm. You know, and the general public, I don't even think they're aware of all the Twitter drama going on. No. Uh, now, the media would love to make everybody aware of it, but most people would be like, huh, Eh, maybe she shouldn't have said that. Whatever. Who is she again? Oh, the Harry Potter lady. Yeah, what movie was she in? Oh, she wrote it? I don't care. I don't yeah. care. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. I know who she is. Yeah, you know, but uh, so you put this article out on piratesandprincesses.net. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Okay, so basically what's going on is what you just said. In the investor call, um, he's talking about how they have to focus on franchises again, and he mentions Harry Potter. He said... We're going to have a real focus on franchises. We haven't had a Superman movie in 13 years. We haven't done a Harry Potter movie in 15 years. The DC movies and the Harry Potter movies provide a lot of profits for Warner Brothers. Motion pictures are the last 25 years, so let's focus on franchise. One of the big adva advantages we have, House of the Dragon as an example, Game of Thrones, taking advantage of Sex and the City, Lord of the Rings. We still have the rights to do Lord of the Rings movies. Oh, that's, that uh -huh. is interesting. I thought you'd find that interesting. Um, and then they're talking about what brands were understood around the world. And then later on, they're talking about how they want to do around the world because if you get your, your movies brought to other countries that you can, you know, expand two to three times what you'd make just in the United States. And they're talking about, you know, they're going to bring the big movies to other places. They're tentpole. People are going to leave early for dinner to go see. We have a lot of them. Batman, Man, Aquaman. If we could do something with JK on Harry Potter going forward. Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, etc. Yeah, so this is really interesting. Um, I did not realize that Warner Brothers still had the... I mean, I know they, they've made the movies. 
I didn't realize that they still had rights to make more movies, yeah, even apparently. with even with Amazon's deal. So if they were smart, I would say, hey, let's just buy out the rights to Lord of the Rings, pretend that the Rings of Power never happened, and we'll just make our own series. And we'll try to adhere a little closer to uh, Tolkien, or at least the, the spirit of Tolkien, and put some competent people well, in charge. The way it's reading, they have the rights to still do movies right now without having to buy them out. Interesting. Uh, that that Well, I mean, it does kind of explain why they really couldn't uh, make The Rings of Power a legit prequel to uh, the Peter Jackson movies because, you know, Warner Brothers I think still Warner has Brothers them. has the right. So Warner Brothers mm. could do things by the sounds of it. Okay, so when are we getting that uh, Merry and Pippin spinoff? Oh, people will go nuts for that. They anyway, will. but beyond that, so we have that we have that little drop there and then brought up that they're trying to do something with uh, J.K. Rowling, which we've heard before, actually. This isn't the first time it's been. We've heard this, but he said it flat out in the investor call. Yeah, so that that has been talked about for a while that they were looking to do something uh, on HBO Max, even with Harry Potter. I mean, I, I said before, if they you know did a Hogwarts prequel that was you know Harry's parents mm -hmm. and Snape and and all that you know Sirius Black and all that that would have actually they probably would have done well, yeah. Um, you know, talk about the Marauders map and and all that. I think it would have been really you know that that would do well. I and, agree. And you could do that. And you could cut out Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and Emma Watson people, yeah. and Rupert Grint and all the other all the other uh, young actors that have have felt like they need to throw uh, rolling under the bus. Mm -hmm. You know, um, before we get into what she actually said, uh, you know, again, Zaslav said that creating content at any cost is over. So we basically have to be more careful about how we spend money. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, who could have predicted that, that eventually the money runs out and you have to make a return on your your investment. But, uh, you know, Daniel Radcliffe is this this is uh, going around is making comments, uh, kind of doubling down on on Duncan on rolling publicly. So mm -hmm. I had to say something because he was doing work with he was doing work with the, the Trevor Project. Yeah. So I'm sure he was getting you know phone calls. Hey, Daniel. Hey, yeah. Hey, uh, JK. Yeah, she's out. Check Twitter. Are you sitting down? Yes. Go go out to Twitter and, and, and check her profile and see what she's saying. And he's like, oh, dear. That's my. I don't think that's how he said it, but OK. I mean, he's probably like, oh, fuck. Yeah, probably. <laughs> now everyone's going to think I'm a transphobe. Yeah, is that just like that. <laughs> it's uncanny. Um, yeah, it is. My down, my man. my uh, Daniel Radcliffe is the best one on the Internet. Um, yeah, but no, he probably did. He's probably like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. But the problem is, is, you know, I mean, look, people are entitled to their opinions about things. Uh, just cause somebody, uh, you know, has an opinion about something you've worked with that person doesn't mean you have to have the exact same right. opinion, but they're even like, oh, she was never really on the set very much. You, can say, you can say like you disagree without being like, you know, oh, I, I should be canceled, you know? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think Emma Watson went at her harder well, than- Well, Emma Watson goes after everybody hard at that stuff because she's always got to, you know, her hair up her ass about something. She literally is Hermione Green. And now she's just- She really like, is. She's just perfume commercials and I don't think anybody gives a shit anymore. I don't think anybody anyway, cares. Anyway, um- so, yeah, people were mad about the comments she made because she had made comments. We're we going to go over the comments, too. We can go over the comments. She has said, her words, you know, her people, words. I brought it before. I don't want to be called a menstruating person. People who menstruate, I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Woomben, wimpun, woomud. <laughs> Woomuds. Instead of woman. Um, yeah, I'm not a woomud. You know, that was one thing. She said other stuff, too, if you scroll up. If she, I scroll up, what does she I say? I mean, that's that's the other up. Yeah, that up. up okay. For you. Uh, if, if if sex isn't real, there's no same same sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate hate to speak the truth? Um, the idea that women like me, who've been empathetic to trans people for decades, feeling kinship because they're vulnerable and and in the same way as women. Um, example male violence I hate trans people because they think sex is real and has lived consequences is nonsense look i'm just like if you want to identify as a man or a woman or whatever i will respect that but i also want you to respect that i am a woman and i will say i'm a woman and i'm not going to say i'm a vulva person <laughs> menstruating person you know birthing person that just that honestly you're reducing me to my uh, reproductive Status, yes. which isn't that like against feminism where women are just reproductive. This is this literally would be 
Yeah, Handmaid's Tale. I am being I am being determined and, and decided by my reproductive organs. Yes, your your my worth is that you're just uh, female reproductive organs. The fact that you have legs and arms and a brain. Uh, but it's not what's, what's happening by yeah. calling people menstruating people, birthing people. Yeah, you're literally reducing people to you know just you know the anatomy parts, and that would be nasty and wrong. Sorry. I mean, I don't know. You, you don't have to agree with her. You don't have to agree with me. But I'm. I'm I mean, I don't want to be called that either. Uh, so look, I mean. <laughs> She's not getting canceled. Uh, I, I don't even. I'm actually Warner Brothers. This is the second or third time they've doubled down on defending her. They, not what she said necessarily, but they said, you know, um, she tells great stories. Basically, she makes money, and uh, I think that this. They need money. They need money, and look, if you've been to Universal anytime lately. They're yeah. making money. They're making lots of money. They're making so much damn money. So it is a uh, tempest in a teapot. Again, you don't have to agree with her. She has a right to say what she wants to say. Uh, there have not been the consequences that people think. Because basically because they, a, an angry contingent of people on Twitter don't like what she says. They think she's supposed to be like burned at the stake or something. Hell, they're letting the flash still continue with Ezra Miller. What makes you think that? Yeah, I know, right? I mean, what do you think they're gonna? They're they're not gonna cancel that. What makes you think they're gonna cancel? You know, Rowling. Ezra Miller, who is literally in trouble with the law, who's been accused of grooming and potentially kidnapping uh, people, Hannah. theft, uh, drugs, got the whole thing, starting a cult, all kinds of weird behavior. They're not canceling Ezra Miller. There's no way in hell they're gonna cancel J.K. Rowling over tweets. Uh, I think it went to people's heads that Johnny Depp got canceled. And you that's know. got walked back. And that's getting walked back. Well, apparently, isn't Tim Burton going to do a, a movie with Warner Brothers with, with Johnny Depp? Yeah, they're talking about it, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think I think the uh, age of cancel culture, unless you actually do something illegal. Well, uh, even then, you did, Flash is still going out. Flash is still going Yeah, I think it's pretty much over. Yeah. I think that we had a, a lot of uh, high-profile cases where people cried wolf, and it just got ridiculous. It was like, you said this. Well... Okay, they hired James Gunn. James Gunn got canceled for a pedo joke made, what, 12, 15 years ago? And then you got rehired at Disney, and then now Warner, you know, grabbed him from, from Disney. Right. So it's, they don't care. Again, unless... They just care about money. Pretty much at this point. He's basically saying that. He is basically saying all Warner cares about at this point going forward is money and making content for... Uh, a large audience because you you definitely have a better chance of making more money with uh, content that has a, a general audience appeal. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.